nuclear weapons pose important challenges for the next president of the United States, particularly in the prevention of their use, their spread to additional countries, or their acquisition by terrorists. In the area of prevention of the use of nuclear weapons, the prospect that, uh, that nuclear weapons could be used by the United States and Russia inadvertently is raised very specifically by our observance this month of the 50th anniversary of the Cuban Missile Crisis and advances in that relationship that came as a consequence of that terrible moment in history uh, included the direct communication link, link and the arms control process that helped to stabilize that relationship and prevent the use of nuclear weapons over the, uh, the, the following half century. The next president will be challenged to extend that relationship forward and ensure that stability for the half century ahead. In the area of preventing the spread of nuclear weapons to additional countries, there are several specific challenges facing the next president. One is also with Russia in the, uh, the extension of the Nunn-Lugar Cooperative Threat Reduction Process that has helped to secure loose nuclear material following the fall of the Soviet Union. That agreement is due to expire and we need a new framework for that sort of cooperation with Russia and globally moving forward. Similarly, 2015 will see another review conference of the Nuclear Nonproliferation Treaty. Uh, this nonproliferation treaty is the basic agreement by which most states in the world agree that acquisition of nuclear weapons is not in their best interest. But the agreement is challenged by their expectation that the United States and the other nuclear weapon states will move towards nuclear disarmament and will make access to uh, to peaceful nuclear technologies available to them. This has been particularly fraught as an issue by Iranian behavior. Uh, Iran has sought to redefine the regime by pushing the limits of what constitutes peaceful uses of nuclear technology. And at the same time, uh, the United States has been challenged by many of the non-nuclear weapon states to demonstrate greater compliance with its disarmament commitments. And the next president will be faced with those twin challenges in preventing the spread of nuclear weapons to additional states. And finally, in the area of preventing terrorist acquisition of nuclear weapons, there's wide agreement that this could be, in the words of uh, the founding dean of the John F. Kennedy School of Government at Harvard, the ultimate preventable catastrophe. What we need to do about it, though, is less clear. Uh, we, the, the last administration engaged in a process of nuclear security summits, the first in Washington uh, in 2010, the second in Seoul in 2012, and a third will be held in The Hague, Netherlands in 2014. And that will provide an important opportunity for the next president to reframe the nuclear security agenda uh, for the years ahead in such a way that the probability of terrorist acquisition of nuclear weapons is minimized.